Hey what's up, it's Derek, I'm making this quick video tutorial to show a few people how to mix and record songs in FL Studio. So you're going to want to make sure you're not running any windows that use sound. Then you're going to want to open up uh, recording devices. And then you can figure out which recording device is your mic by tapping on it and then just go into the properties menu by clicking on the properties button. And make sure the levels are turned all the way up. And then in the advanced tab, uh, allow applications, just click those two boxes, make sure they're checked. Then open up FL Studio. I'm still running 8, but uh, we're, it really won't make a difference. You can open from a template, but that doesn't really matter because you can always just uh, create the recording effects template yourself by just uh, having one track that sends to another track but doesn't send to the master and then uh, yeah that basically creates it FL Studio their template adds this reverb track but I always disable that anyways next you're gonna wanna go into the options audio options menu and make sure that you have ACO for all uh, selected as your audio uh, input or output then go into ACO panel and uh, make sure that your mic is turned on and that your uh, audio output is turned on. Then you can close all that up and go back to the mixer. Now select the two disc track or the one that will be recorded to from your mic with no effects other than just compression. Basically track one is going to be recorded from with clean uh, no effects and you will hear the effects um, because it will be played through track two because track one is linked to track two and uh, you can add a whole bunch of effects to track two if you want to there's compression reverb delay um, and you you have to mess around with these effects in order to make them sound good but the great thing about recording this way is that if you want to go back and change the amount of reverb or delay or compression afterwards after you record it you can easily do that um, you can create multiple tracks with multiple different effects okay that's great but uh, you're probably saying how do I actually record so if you want to you can go and drop an mp3 in there from Windows Explorer and then when you want to record uh, go to the spot in the song that you want to record from you got to make sure that your two disc track is selected in the mixer that first track has to be selected or it will, will not record from that track then hit the record button make sure you click audio into the playlist as an audio clip after you do that it will start to record when you're done recording hit stop it will stop recording and your audio file will be where you recorded it and uh, yeah that's really all I can show you um, if you need to know anything else just feel free to ask and uh, yeah that's it thanks for watching it's getting hard to breathe I'm dreaming of success but is this really all I need I know that I'll succeed but only if I try to I just make this music and hope that I can inspire you